what's up welcome back to another video my name is Caitlin if you're new and this video is another episode of the thrifting my Pinterest board challenge if you are just stumbling along this video essentially what I do is I look at my Pinterest board see my most recent pins and pick out some pieces and then go to a thrift store and try and thrift them so in this video, we're going to be going to Salvation Army in Avon, Ohio. I'm in the Cleveland area, if you're in this area. Uh, I'll try and say the thrift stores that I'm going to in case you guys want to go thrifting uh, and live in Cleveland. So, first thing on my list are a pair of leather gloves. I want a pair of leather gloves, and I love the idea of worn-in gloves, which is why I'm looking at thrift stores for them. Um, scarves. I've also been hunting down a jacket like this, this leather bomber. I have a ton of these pinned on my board and would love to find one. Oversized sweater, specifically like a striped black and white oversized sweater. Huh, what else? I don't know. I don't Scarves. Know. You should. Why? You should have a Pinterest board. Because you would love Pinterest. I don't know if I would. I think you would. No, my arm is hurting. I'm afraid I wouldn't. I definitely think you would. But, anyways. I don't really have, this time, I don't really have too many specific pieces that I'm thinking. Last time was very specific, and I'm not getting too specific. I'm just looking for some more winter pieces that I don't already have. A long wool coat. Um, hmm. Yeah. Just looking for some staple good quality pieces. The Salvation Army in Avon is typically very good. Last time I went it was very picked over and sparse and I actually didn't find anything. So we'll see what we can find this time and I'll take you along. Oh and I'm looking for some gold candlesticks for our apartment. So we'll see. Where are those gonna go? What do you mean where are those gonna go? Where are gold candlesticks going? Like on the credenza or over on that uh, console table underneath the TV. Ah, okay. You know. Yeah. Decoration. So, gonna head over, see what we can find, and take you along, obviously. back home and this was such an epic thrift haul oh my gosh I cannot wait to show you guys what I freaking found in insane this is goes down in the history of best thrift hauls ever so let me gather my things set up the room to do a little try on and I'll see you in a second okay so I kind of went into this like as you saw not really knowing what exactly I was looking for. I didn't really have anything in mind. I actually ended up finding some really cool pieces that I didn't get to purchase. So because they just didn't fit me. So slingback kitten heels are going to be so popular. We're starting to see them. And so I was on the hunt for those. And I did find a pair that were a little dirty. But I feel like they could have been cleaned up. But they were a size 10. They weren't my size. And they were so cute. And then also ballet flats are very popular and at the My Salvation Army they had a whole bunch of Zara stuff. It was so weird. They had a whole entire section of Zara and so it was like 60% off the original Zara price that was on the tag. So a great deal. It was wild. I don't, I don't know. It, I'm assuming like Zara had donated this to Salvation Army is, was my assumption kind of. So I don't know. But because they did just have that huge sale. So I, my thought was this stuff probably didn't sell in the store and then they donated it. I don't know. That was just, but anyway, 
Uh, so one of the ballet flats wears Zara and then I found another pair as well But none of these were my size. They were really cute. So I wanted to show you them and then a really cool trench coat that was in really good condition trench coats are super easy to thrift so I'm gonna start with shoes because I actually found shoes and these are Target loafers and I Please excuse my nails. I'm taking one of them broke the other day and I have not had a chance to take the rest of them off I'm doing that after this, but I Loved these loafers. I have been wanting a pair of loafers and when I saw these they were my size So I was like, you know, I might as well pick them up. They're in really good condition They look like they maybe were just worn a few times. So I'm gonna clean the inside and then Get to wear in the shoes and then these next ones. They're not winter per They're not winter at all, but they're Zara sandals that like gladiator kind of sandals that lace up your leg and I thought that these were so cool they kind of remind me of Bottega a little bit and so I picked these up they're $49 so 60% off of that so yeah these were a great a great deal I wanted to take advantage all right so that's it for shoes next I'll show you something that Mitch got oh and these I actually don't know what the prices of these were because they had them labeled weird and so I don't remember what it was when she rang them up. I'm trying to be better about telling you guys price. I want to say that these were like five bucks. So great deal. This is a men's button down and it is very thick and is this like wool kind of material. And the brand is called Taylor Stitch. And it is really, really nice. It's really thick. It's in really good condition. It looks like it was hardly ever worn. I've never heard of this brand before, but I picked this up. I was looking in the men's section because I because I was looking for a denim shirt. And I saw this one and it fits Mitch. And it is really, really cool. So I'm not going to try this on because it is not for me. But I will video a try on I'll video him in it he's not home right now but I'll video I'll take a video of him in it and put it over this video so that you can see what it looks like on and this was $4.99 so one tip I always have when going to the thrift store and I always do this I'll insert the picture here for proof I take a photo of what deals they're having so I believe this one was pink tags and yellow tags were 50% off and white was 99 cents if I'm remembering correctly, but I always take a picture so that when I'm shopping around the store and I find pieces, I can know that what price they're going to be because I could be on the fence about a piece if it says like $7, but then it's a tag that's 99 cents. I'm like, oh, no brainer, 99 cents, but I don't know if I would spend $7 on it, if that makes sense. And this next item was one, was an example of that. So I got this because and it was only an example of that because I wasn't sure that I would wear this right now. But this is a linen shirt and it was 99 cents in the men's section and it's gray and white, white stripes. I don't know if it's showing up blue or gray on, on screen, but it, I thought that this would be perfect in the summer with a pair of white pants or in the spring with a pair of white pants or summer with a pair of white pants, pair of jean shorts over a bathing suit. It's linen, so it's that beachy, summery kind of feel and I found this in the men's section and it was 99 cents, originally $5.99. So I don't know if I would have spent $6 on this right now because I'm not gonna wear it. It's literally gonna sit in my closet until spring. But this is a core staple piece that I can wear season after season. And so I figured, you know, 99 cents, I can't pass that up. So I was excited about this find too. And last but not least, I found a Burberry trench coat and I'm not even joking. So disclaimer i'm trying to authenticate it and so far it's looking like it's real i've been doing extensive research ever since i got home we did a ton of pre-research in the store before we bought this we sat down we googled everything we can about authenticating a burberry trench coat and i think that it's real i'm not 100 percent sure it would be before the 19 it would be before 1999 that this trench coat was made and because Burberry used to be Burberry's and then they switched it after 1999 to Burberry. And like I said, I have a Burberry 
trench right here. Mine is from 2018 and this one is from I don't know. So we're working on authenticating it. I do not promote buying counterfeit items and so I want to make sure that if this is real that I know that it's real and I don't ever say that it's not. And I don't ever say that it's real if it's not. But all of the pre-research of like things to look for right off the bat, everything checks out with this and I found a serial number that I'm going to run and see if it's real or not. So I am updating my vlog so make sure to subscribe if you're interested in going through that experience with me of trying to figure out if this is real or not. So it's a long trench coat and it's kind of a greeny color. This is my it's either colors like this one's a little darker this is my real trench coat this is from the real real i got it for christmas i have not taken off the tag yet because it hasn't been weather appropriate to wear it but this is my real one this is the one that i thrifted so we'll see but yeah i was so excited when i found that and so i'm really hoping that it's real because that would be amazing it was 70 dollars, which would be insane if this is actually real so I'm very excited to check it out. But that is it for this episode of Thrifting My Pinterest Board. I hope you enjoyed and make sure to subscribe because in my next video I'm going to be showing you how I style all of these pieces.